Hello, I am Bria Perkins. Hey everyone, I am Sierra Dove. Hi, I'm Damisha Finch. Hello, I am Ashley Gaskins. Hello, I am Devontae Mickens. Hi, I am Jewel Jeffries. On a scale of 1 to 10, my hair is a 10. I love my hair, my hair is my everything. I think my hair is about a nine because I really love my hair, so it's important to me. But if I was to cut it, it was, it wouldn't be such a big effect. But I think I'll be some type of sad. I'll be, I would be sad, probably. My hair is a ten actually because, like, I basically I really love my hair, point blank. Period. I would say my hair is a ten because it affects me on a daily basis, whether it's straight or I have my natural curls. I feel like my hair is a 10 on the scale because it's very important to keep my hair <laughs> together. You know, it, it helps me, it just makes my day brighter. I mean, you can have a pretty face, but what about your hair? I mean, you know, it's me. I would say a 10. It's very important. My hair is very important to me because if my hair is not in the best condition, then I might not be in the best mood. Um, whether my hair is natural like this or if I have a sewing in, I always care about how my hair looks. So half the time, half the time my hair might reflect how my day goes. No, I haven't actually. I've always been natural. It's going on about 20 years, my whole life. I decided to stay natural because of, I've seen different women get relaxers, perms, and their hair will fall out. But me, on the other hand, I just, I don't really like any chemicals in my hair. I love walking around, being free. That's what it feels like to me. When I was 10, I got a perm and um, I had it until about the 10th grade in high school and my hair started to fall out so eventually I had to go natural and cut it off and it grew back so it's currently, well I cut it off again but it's growing back. Yes, I have previously chemically processed my hair. When I was about 7 or 8 years old I got my first relaxer and since then um, I just kept getting relaxers because it was easier to manage and I didn't really have to do much to it but finally when I got into about the 10th grade I decided that the natural hair look was something that I wanted to try out and now I've been natural since my 10th grade year I'm a freshman in high college now so it's been working out pretty well no I do not believe in that saying strictly because my hair makes up who I am. If I didn't have my hair, I feel like I would be lost because if you change your hair, you ch kind of change your identity because people look at, that's one of the first things that they look at when they look at your face and it's, it's just part of me. I don't, I think I am my hair because I love my hair and it's everything to me. No, I do not believe in this saying because I love my hair. I am, I would have a bad day if my hair is not up to par. I know you can't be perfect, but your hair is every, not everything, but it makes you you. Yes, I am my hair. I don't really believe in it. Um, because I am my hair. I love to try new things on my hair. I love putting it in protective styles. No, that's a complete lie because one, my hair is part of my identity. It's part of everything I am. Two, I feel like society puts an emphasis on my hair, so people might try to say that they are not their hair because people might think, oh, when they think of natural, they think of a nappy fro or we don't ever have hair, but that's just a society view. Even though I feel like we should embrace our hair when people feel like we, we shouldn't depict, basically, we shouldn't base our identity off our hair when I think that if you love it that much, you should.